I'm conservative because I have experienced that it works. That working hard and acquiring an education and doing the right thing and voluntarily helping others actually empowers us to be the person, the best person we can be. That's why I'm conservative. My observation is that the people of the Rio Grande Valley are highly conservative in their moral values. Uh, almost without exception, they believe in the intrinsic value of human life. Unfortunately, many people have been conditioned to buy into government provision. I don't think that's who they are. They also don't understand that their democratic representatives, in general, do not align with their values. And that's kept quiet, and the politicians have done a, an amazing job of keeping their personal values secret, except on their voting record. So what we need to do is, is recondition residents to understand who they're voting for, what that person really represents, and what their representatives are doing in Washington and in Austin. I love Texas because Texas is, is tough, Texas is independent, Texas is the kind of place anybody would want to raise a family, Texas is spacious and beautiful, Texas is conservative, Texas represents the, the values that I believe benefit our nation in general. Growing up in severe poverty and severe dysfunction and, and lack of education and lack of information has taught me to be a more to be an independent thinker. It has taught me to seek information, to draw conclusions based on critical thinking. And if there's anything that I can I can contribute to my four boys are is the ability to make decisions based on information, on data, on critical thinking, and on good judgment. And what I didn't grow up with, or what I lacked, has actually become the best asset for me to train my children to have, which is an ability to think for themselves and accomplish what nobody's going to accomplish for them, and to understand that. My answer is affirmative. People People need to get so frustrated that they've taken action, that they'll take action. But my observation is, they're going to be people. They are people and they're going to be people who've never really taken action before. Because they've been so busy providing for their families, doing the right thing, being good people, that they haven't had time to. And now they're seeing our border is in jeopardy. They're seeing crime happen in their neighborhoods from across the border. They're seeing tax money being fraudulently spent. They're seeing blatant corruption knocking on their door. And they've got no choice. They either sacrifice what they have to fight this thing, or they know they're gonna end up with nothing. That's the generation I believe that is about to rise. We see it on the national front, you know, with, with some of the women that are coming out, some of the just plain clothes men that are running on a national level. That's what we're going to see in the Rio Grande Valley and they're not going to look like what people think they're going to look like. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no reason they can't. Here people will vote for the candidate. If we if we present ourselves to the public as who we are, but we have to be we have to live the life. You have to be real. Exactly. That we're proselytizing. Our associations have to align. If I say I'm going to fight corruption, but every Saturday night I'm out to dinner elbowing corruption, I have no credibility. Conservatives are only going to rise down here if we are who we say we are and we do what we say we're going to do. And will elections be won the first time around? Maybe not. But war is not determined by a single battle. You press through and you fight regardless of what it may look like. 
in a small instance. It was incredibly difficult. It was a lot of sleepless nights. It was a lot of judgment by others. It was a lot of hard work. It was not getting the grades that I was capable of. It was extremely difficult, not impossible, and incredibly worth it. I believe there is a vast difference between helping out and handing out. Helping out is assisting someone in the time of need to get to a better place. Handouts freely given with no return expectation disempower people from achieving their potential. The only way I believe that can happen is demonstrating that it's not better for them. Sharing one's own experience. They have to see a level of hope, a, a, an authentic level of hope. And there's plenty of us that can share those experiences. And as painful as it is, just like our own children, I love my children enough not to give them everything they ask for, not to give them everything they want. I do give them what they need. And by not, give it, not indulging their every expectation, they can experience how important it is to do for themselves. And that may hurt me more than it hurts them temporarily, but to really empower people, that's what it requires.